we're going to move right into the next one. Tony Gravely versus Javid Basharat. I think Tony Gravely is a, t- a tough matchup for pretty much everyone. And it really goes to show you how deep the Bantamweight division, because Gravely, I don't think, is even close to the top 15 at this point. But he's super well-rounded, relentless pressure, smothering grappling, averages 6.6 takedowns per fight at 55% accuracy. Also has some tremendous punching power. <clears throat> um, he gets his opponent all worried about his takedowns, and he's really able to set up some pretty strikes and he hits like a mad truck he's taken on javid bashrod who's 2-0 and in the ufc and has an undefeated 12-0 and record 11 of those uh finishing 11 of those six of them in the very first round he made his debut in his last time out against a tough matchup in trevin jones but um he, he beat him all three rounds uh really showcased a very well-rounded game over those first two ufc wins too recording 10 minutes of control time and um a sub on the contender series and then his striking and footwork in his UFC debut. And he is a guy that really doesn't headhunt either. He, he's very diverse with his strikes. A lot of kicks, a lot of punches to the body. Very active jab. But he did take some big shots from Jones in his last time out. That really worried me because if I think if that was Gravely that landed that same shot, I think it would have been lights out for Basharat. I kind of like Gravely as the underdog here. Just... I don't know, that gritty game, not as technical, but knows how to get the win, total gamer. Um, but then again, Basharat, really good on the feet, really good jab. That, um, Yeah, damn. I'll take the underdog. I'll take Tony Gravely in this. Insane pace, slows him down. I think he'll be able to do it. So I'm going to go with Tony Gravely in that one. <laughs> Thank you.